Hello friends. Welcome to Date Empires. In this session of mechanical data recovery training, we will discuss about the internal structure and media level components of the hard disk in detail. Today, we will learn about the types of mechanical parts, which are attached to the hard disk and functioning. Friends, I believe that you all might have seen the hard disk. In the market, the hard disk comes in two different sizes. The first one is 2.5 inches hard disk, and the second one is of 3.5 inches. Here, in this image, a 2.5 inch hard disk is shown. The 2.5 inch hard disk is extensively used for laptop and external data storages. In this image, we can see a 3.5 inch hard disk. Generally, this type of hard disk is used in desktop computer, DVR and workstation systems. There's a sticker placed on the top cover of the hard disk, on which all the information related to the hard disk is mentioned. It includes the name of the manufacturing company, serial number, part number, model number, date of manufacturing and its firmware information. When we open the top cover of the hard disk, we can see the internal mechanical structure of the hard disk. Here we can see ribbon cables, head, platter, spindle motor, slider, actuator, magnets, and head parking area inside it. While opening the top cover of the hard disk, we have to make sure that the top cover of the hard disk should be opened in the class 100 clean room only. Here, we can see all the mechanical components in the image. From this image, we can understand the architectural and the fitting situation of mechanical components. When we remove the PCB from the bottom side of the hard disk, we can see the head contact, motor contact, and breathing hole here. In some hard disks, the breathing hole is provided on the top cover of the hard disk. Now, we will discuss about all these components in the hard disk. And will try to understand the functioning of all these components. There are plenty of mechanical components engaged in a hard disk. The main components are platter, head, spindle motor, air circulation filter, magnets, slider, preamplifier, breathing hole, and breathing filter. Now, we will discuss about all these components in detail. Our first mechanical component will be the platter. The platter is a circular disk, on which the data is stored. Generally, in 2.5 inch hard disk, the platter is made up of glass. And in 3.5 inch hard disks, the platter is made up of aluminium. Track, sectors, and clusters are already defined on the platter. Data is stored on these track and sectors, and it defines the address of the data. When reading and writing is done on the platter, the data is searched by these addresses. There is a layer of ferromagnetic material on the platter. Data is stored on the same magnetic material. Any hard disk can have one or more platter, which are mounted on the spindle motor. On every side of the platter, a head is provided to read and write the stored data. Here, in this image, we can see the type of platter visible. And how more than one platter is fixed on the assembly. Our second main component will be the read and write head. Head is the smallest part of the hard disk. Head slides on the platter and it reads and writes the store data on the magnetic part of the platter. 
On any hard disk, a head is placed on every side of the platter to read and write the stored data. A maximum of two heads can work on a single platter. Here, in this image, we can see the head area. Here, the magnetic coils of small size are engaged. A slider is also attached to the head. A lead wire carries the signal from the head. All of these assemblies are fixed on a head arm. Our next component will be the spindle motor. Every hard disk contains a spindle motor. This spindle motor rotates at a constant speed, which is also defined as the RPM of that hard disk. Hard disk can function properly because of the rotation of spindle motor at a constant speed. The platter is mounted on this motor, which also rotates the platter. Bearings are used for the smooth rotation of the spindle motor. The next mechanical component is magnet. A very strong magnet is attached on the actuator coil section of the hard disk. This magnet is used to develop electromagnetic environments. Some hard disk models have a head stack stopper attached with the magnet that controls the movement of the head. The magnets inside the hard disk are very important components as it works to develop magnetic field over the actuator coil. Our next mechanical component is the slider. The slider is a black colored component, which is connected to the head. The surface of the slider is aerodynamic, and it works to keep the head on the platter in the air. When the platter rotates, the air pressure develops inside the hard disk. Due to the aerodynamic design of the slider, it floats in the air and will not let the head and plate touch each other. The distance between the head and platter is approximately 5 to 7 nanometers, which is called flying height. This slider maintains the flying height. If the dust particle enters into the hard disk and if the dust particle comes between the slider and the platter, then the slider and even the platter may get damaged. That is why the repairing of hard disk requires a class 100 clean room. Now, let us discuss about another component, called preamplifier. The preamplifier is an IC that controls the incoming signals from the head and provides strength to the communication between the head and the PCB. When the head works as read and write, the signal strength generated is very low. These signals are so fragile that, the signals cannot even reach the PCB from the head. To achieve this, the preamplifier has to be installed in the hard disk. Preamplifier boosts the signal strength. Here, in this image, we can see the preamplifier which is connected by the head directly through the lead wire. Our next component will be the recirculation filter. Clean air is required for the hard disk to work properly. When hard disk runs continuously, small particles of metal and oil are formed inside the hard disk. It is very important to clean these particles immediately. For this, the recirculation filter is attached to the hard disk. This filter absorbs dust and oil particles and keeps the inside air clean.
The last mechanical components are breathing hole and breathing filters. When we discussed about the structure of the hard disk previously, we have mentioned the breathing hole. Every hard disk has a breathing hole on its outer body. There's a myth among many people that the inside of the hard disk is vacuum. But the myth is wrong. To maintaining the air pressure and temperature inside the hard drive, just free and clean air is required. For this reason, we have to use the breathing holes in the hard disk. The breathing filter is attached to the breathing hole. The breathing filter keeps the air clean coming inside from dust and moisture. Due to this, the air coming inside the hard disk will be absolutely dust free. Hi friends, in our theoretical session, we discussed about the mechanical structure of hard disk and its internal components. Now we are going to understand it practically. Here we have two hard disks. First one is a 3.5 inch hard disk and the second one is a 2.5 inch hard disk. The 3.5 inch hard disk is commonly used in personal computers, DVR and workstations. The 2.5 inch hard disk is mostly used in laptops, compact systems and external storage devices. All the information about the hard disk is usually printed on the top cover of the hard disks, which includes hard disk serial number, model number, part number, firmware information, date of manufacturing and the country code. Also on a 2.5 inch hard disk we can find the hard disk serial number, model number, part number and firmware information printed on the top cover. When we check the base of the hard disk, we can see its PCB. A breathing hole is also provided on the bottom. There is a common misconception among the people, where they believe that there is vacuum inside the hard disk. But to control the internal temperature and the movement of the head and slider inside the hard disk, clean, dust-free and moisture-free air is required. Now, we are going to open the PCB of this hard disk. When we remove the PCB, we can see the base structure of the hard disk. This is the motor supply contact pin which is connected to the spindle motor. And here is the head contact pin. In some hard disks, the breathing hole will be found on the bottom plate, while in some other hard disk model, it can be found on the top plate. In this hard disk, we can see that the breathing hole is placed on the top cover. Now we discuss about the internal structure of this hard disk. Before opening the hard disk, it is important to know that, in case of data recovery and repair, the top cover of the hard disk should not be open in common room environment. To perform this operation, we need a special class 100 clean room, which is made with special filters and isolation techniques. Inside this chamber, we will open its top cover. Before opening the top cover of the hard disk, we should clean the hard disk thoroughly so that dust from its top and side part gets cleaned. First we remove top cover screw. After removing the top cover screw, we shall now open the screw of actuator axis. After removing the screw, open the top cover of the hard disk slowly with the help of an opener. After opening the top cover, we can see the internal mechanical structure of the hard disk. There is a circular disk in the center which is called platter. This is the spindle motor. Here is the head stack assembly. Heads and sliders are mounted at the end of HSA. 
This is preamplifier IC which is connected to the head. There is a straw in magnet above the actuator coil. This is head axis stopper. This is a ribbon cable, which is connected to the head contact and preamplifier. Here is the recirculation filter, which absorbs the internal dust and keeping the internal environment clean. Here is the head parking area. In some hard disk model, head parking is found on the platter. And in some other models, we can find the parking area fixed separately. Now let us remove the magnets from the hard disk and check the HSA. We can see an internal coil which is known as actuator coil. This coil controls the movements of the hard disk. Now we will check out the head stack assembly of this hard disk by removing it carefully. To do so, first, remove the screws fixed on the head contact. After that, press the head contact gently from the back side, open it and then remove it from the base castings. After that, remove the screws of the actuator axis and remove the head stack assembly. Inside we can see a black colored component. This is the slider. A golden colored coil can be seen attached to the slider. This is the magnetic coil which functions as the reading and writing tool. Which is caller head. For complete data recovery training, just log on to www.debtempires.com. Here you can learn all the course for lifetime in Hindi and English with one free data recovery solution. You can download all the resources easily without interruptions. Just subscribe once for a whole lifetime membership. We also offer best data recovery services for hard drive, SSD pen drive and server drives. And we are one of the leading manufacturers of mechanical data recovery tools and firmware software. For regular updates, you can also follow our social feed. RRSS at datempires.com slash RSS. Our Twitter handle at at datempires. Our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash datempires. Also, you can subscribe our YouTube channel by just pressing the bell icon on datempires channel.